What's going on guys, it's David here, and in this video I'm gonna give you three workout tips for ectomorphs. I'm gonna tell you three things that you need to be doing in the gym if you're trying to bulk up as fast as possible. Let's go. All right, so before I give you number one, I quickly wanna talk about progressive overload. And you've probably heard about this before. This is the number one most important thing that you need to do in the gym if you're trying to build muscle as fast as possible. Now, a lot of guys incorrectly take this to mean that you need to be increasing the weights you're using every single week and you need to get stronger every single week if you wanna keep building muscle. So while this is one way to implement progressive overload, you need to realize that it actually applies to your total workload. And that is the number of sets you're doing times the number of reps you're doing times the weight that you're using. So for example, if you're doing bench press for three sets of eight repetitions at 100 pounds, that comes out to 2,400. That's the total workload that you're doing. And in order to correctly implement progressive overload and to make sure you're continuously building muscle, you can increase any of these three variables. So rather than always pushing yourself to lift more weight and causing your form to break down and risking injury, I would encourage you to also go for rep PRs or to try and increase the sets you're doing at a certain weight. You know, if you just hit 225 for five reps on your bench press, now see if you can do that for a second and a third set. I hope that makes sense because the tips I'm about to give you are gonna build upon that theory. Anyway, it's time for me to hit the gym and get big. I almost forgot my pre-workout. This stuff is the best. It's called Bulk and there'll be a 10% discount, link in the description, and yes, I live in a new apartment now. You'll be seeing more of this soon. All right guys, the first tip that I have for you is DUP, or Daily Undulating Periodization. And this is a style of programming your workouts that requires you to alternate between varying levels of intensity and volume on a weekly basis. Now I know that all this sounds kind of complicated and technical, but basically if you dumb it down, it just means that you're coming in on different days and doing higher reps on some days with lower weights and lower reps on other days with higher weights. And you want to do this for all of your body parts. So for example, you could come in and do a higher volume bench press day, say four sets of eight with a lower weight, and then later in the week when you come and you bench again, in, now you lower the, the reps down and you do let's say five sets of three at a higher weight and by doing this and by constantly alternating between the different reps you're using this has been proven in studies to help you get stronger on a more consistent basis than by not programming your workouts at all and it's also just a whole lot easier than more complicated types of periodizations that take place over the longer term. Anyway, explaining that has tired me out. I actually have a free workout routine that incorporates this principle though, and you can download that by clicking the eye in the top right corner or the link in the description. I'm gonna give your mind a break, and I'm gonna get my workout in, and then after that, keep watching. I got the next two tips coming your way. Let's go. guys <laughs> workout complete that was my first day back squatting since I slipped the disc in my lower back so I kept it light just did 225 for three sets of 15 it felt good though so I'm gonna start building back up on that anyway let me find a little place to film around here and let me film all right here we go the lighting in this garage is phenomenal here so that's why you guys see me filming in here a lot Anyway, the second tip I have for you in this video is slow eccentric, and it's actually hard as hell in Boston. I promise, I'm not trying to show off the gains. It's just too hot in here. So basically what I mean by this is when you're lifting a weight, there's two main phases. There's actually three phases. There's the concentric when you're doing the work and you're lifting the weight. There's the isometric when you're holding it at the top, and then there's the concentric when you're letting it back down. 
but let's simplify and just say there's the concentric and the eccentric. So when you're doing both of these movements, your body is doing work. Obviously when you're doing the concentric, you're exerting all of your force onto the weight. But when you're doing the concentric and you know, and you're coming down or you're lowering the weight, you're also doing work and you're resisting that weight from just dropping to the floor. And this is so important to understand because if you're someone who always just quickly is lowering the weight and bouncing it back up, you're lowering the weight really quickly, you're lowering the weight really quickly, then you're essentially selling yourself short and you're only taking advantage of half of each rep that you're doing. And my recommendation for you here is going to be to do a two second concentric. So when you're lowering the weight, it should be for one, two, and then come back up quickly. Or if you're squatting, you know, one, two, and then come back up quickly. Or if you're bench pressing, one, two, and then come back up quickly, because by doing that, you're gonna take advantage of both parts of the movement. You're gonna build more muscle, and you're gonna get more gains. Let's go home and make this gainer shake. And we got the gainer shake ready to go. Basically milk, oats, peanut butter, creatine, and the best protein powder that money can buy. Link in description for a 10% discount. Let's make it. Done. If you guys are looking for more bulk and recipes, check out my full day of eating videos and get plenty of ideas. All right, man, the final tip I have for you is to limit the cardio. Look, if you're someone who struggles to gain weight and build muscle, then you can't be going doing cardio and playing tennis or basketball three or four times a week because that's just gonna burn so many calories and you're gonna have to eat so much more to make up for that difference. So if you're a skinny guy who loves to play sports but who also wants to bulk up, well, you sort of have to prioritize. And I would recommend focusing on bulking up in the off season. So if basketball is your sport, you know, all winter you have practice or games five or six days a week, it's gonna be really tough to bulk up during the winter. But if you wait to the summertime when maybe you're only training once or twice a week for basketball, now you can focus on increasing the calories and hitting the gym three or four times a week and making that sort of your gaining phase before you get back to the next season. And that's my main point here. You have to prioritize your goals. You can't expect to accomplish a bunch of different things at the same time because at the end of the day, until you commit yourself firmly to a goal and you start taking action on it every day, it's probably never gonna get done. That is the end of this video, I hope I gave you some good training tips to get your bulk on and get your big on. And if you watched to the end, smash that subscribe button and help me reach my goal of 50,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Otherwise, give this video a thumbs up. I'll talk to you in the next video. I better talk to you in the next video. I'm gonna be mad, bro. Stay beastly.